What's up guys, Josh from Upright Health. Today I'm gonna to give you three very easy, simple exercises that you can use to start fixing your back pain today. So this first exercise we're gonna to use to alleviate some of the stiffness in our spine before we do the other two exercises. So a lot of the time uh, what happens is from sitting and inactivity, this, this spine becomes so stiff and we can't move it. And a lot of what we're doing anytime we move is just moving from the lower back. So this first exercise called the lat tricep stretch is gonna help to mobilize the upper back a little bit and get some more extension from the thoracic spine. That's where we wanna get the extension from, not from the lower spine, right? So to do this, you're just gonna need some type of surface you can use um, a countertop or a table. You can even do this kneeling. Uh, we might show that variation in a later video. And then you're going to need something like a dumbbell, but you know, if you're at home, you could also use like a water bottle or a broomstick, anything that you can just get your hands on like this. So I'm gonna take my hands here. I'm gonna put my elbows on my surface. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step my feet back. So my legs are just right underneath my hips here. And then, I'm just going to press my chest down towards the ground, okay? So notice what I'm trying to achieve here is just a really flat line uh, from my arms through my torso. If you're pretty tight, it might look a little bit more like this when you start, right? You're not going to be able to get that flat line. That's a good indicator that you're pretty stiff in this area and that you actually just need to do this exercise frequently, okay? So... Once again, I press my chest down towards the ground. I'm trying to extend my upper back, but I'm not doing this. I'm not arching my lower back. I'm keeping some tension in my stomach to make sure that my lower back stays flat, okay? And I'm gradually, gradually just letting gravity take me down and I'm also pressing down a little bit. We don't wanna jam into this too hard. We wanna be gentle here and when you do this enough, you'll start to feel your upper back start to get more extended. Our next two exercises we're going to do in a quadruped position. So we get down on the hands and the knees. And our first exercise is going to be cat-cow, okay? So you might know this from yoga. Um, but basically what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be trying to run our spine through... Uh, as much range of motion in both flexion and extension as we can, okay? So first we're gonna start going into flexion. I want you to push the ground away through your hands and then you're going to lift the belly to the ceiling. You're gonna tuck the chin and then we're also gonna just kinda tuck our hips under, right? So we get that posterior tilt of the pelvis. And we really just wanna press into this as far as we can. Now, from here, we're going to go into extension. So you're going to push the belly downwards now. Now, my back's going to arch. The hips tilt the opposite way. I lift the head now. I'm going to look up at the wall. And now, I have this good full global extension in my back. Okay? We're going to hold that. And now we go back through. Into full flexion, really push away, and then into full extension, okay? So you should really feel like your spine is moving a lot during this, right? Sometimes I see people do this just kind of here, here, right? Not really, really forcing into the end range, and that's where you're going to find uh, some, some, some uh, benefits, is, at, is when you really try to force into these end ranges, and get yourself really moving through the whole range, okay? So that's the cat-cow. Next is going to be a quadruped side bend, okay? Here, I'm gonna start hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, and now what we're gonna do here is I'm just going to pretty much try to bring my shoulder and my hip together here all right so we're kind of side bending 
this right here and the other side is actually lengthening, okay? I'm gonna go to the other side here. It's almost like I'm trying to look at my hip that I'm turning towards. Sometimes I find that people find a direction that doesn't quite feel the same as the other, right? So maybe for you, the right one goes together quite nicely. The left one doesn't quite feel the same and you feel like you can't get as much range of motion on this side. So if that's the case, just put a little bit more concentration into the side that's lagging and try to get more range of motion there. Here, here. So just to recap, we have the cat-cow where we're doing flexion and extension and then we have the side bend where the spine now stays fairly neutral. We don't want to be in extension or flexion. We just want to be neutral. And we go side bend to one side, side bend to the other. I would recommend that you do these exercises in a circuit fashion. So do one exercise after the other and then repeat that for two to three times every day. Now you can do the lat tri stretch hold for anywhere from about 30 to 45 seconds, depending on how you feel. And you can do the other exercises for about eight to 12 reps. Guys, if you haven't already, check out our free exclusive videos on fixing your back pain. Uh, these videos aren't on YouTube. If you want them, you have to sign up for them. We've been getting some great feedback from people. People have been unlocking more range of motion in their spines. They've been um, creating stronger, more stable backs and overall just alleviating a lot of the pain that they had before. So you can be the next one to start doing that. Hey, remember, pain sucks, life shines.